Hello everyone, Amod here from the Target Common YouTube channel and this video will be continuation of the Sessor end-to-end framework playlist. So the idea of this video is coming from one of the comments on my last video where I explained how can we create a POJO class with custom default values. So if you see the comment section of this video, so one comment says that thanks for useful concept. How can we achieve if property needs to be any random value from a fixed set of valid values. For example, field gender, right? So gender can have only three values like male, female and other. So the question is very simple. In the last video, if you see the POJO class, so here like for ID, for name or for country, we are generating any random value, any random integer value or random string value. So the question is like, if suppose any field has some limited values, so this we can achieve with simple lines of code. Simply you can do, private we can have a string and then we can have like field name gender and here you can use streams so stream of and here you can define the values like maybe male female and others and here we have one method called find any right it will return you optional and here you need to use simply get method so that you can get any random value out of these three values so for this what i'm going to do in the my airline test or java we know that we don't require the gender field for our api to create an airline so what i'm going to do i will simply comment all these codes and i will simply write one statement so that i can just show you that how it is picking the random values so for that let me copy this and let me use the sys out and i use the object mapper to print the pojo let me run this program quickly so you can see build is success if you see the payload here then you can see it is picking like gender is male so if you run it again you might get some different value but whatever value you will get that will be within these three values so using this simple line of code we can select any random value from fixed set of values if you don't want to use a stream then what you can do you can use let me just copy this line of code and paste it if you don't want to use the stream of then simply remove this one you can use arrays dot edge list and here you can copy these values then you can use get method and we have already created one method called random data generator dot you can use the get random number and you can pass the minimum and maximum so i will pass minimum as zero and maximum i will pass as three why because we have total three elements here so since this will be excluded the last one so i am passing just length because index starts from zero so this way also you can use let me run this program quickly so that you can see the output okay so build is successful if you see here gender again it is picking female right which is expected so this is good as far as you are auto generating the custom default values but suppose if someone is explicitly writing the values maybe if i go to my airline test.java and here what i'm going to do i will use the two builder and what i'm going to do is like gender and i can pass any random value okay so we know that this is not the expected or acceptable gender value right because this is not a gender in that case what we should do why it is able to take any random value here because we are specifying the data type of field gender as string that's why we can pass any value but here you should restrict the user to pass some acceptable values only this might be the scenario in many cases where you have only limited set of values so you cannot pass any random value and also you should have some mechanism so that you can pre prevent user from making mistakes so for that what you can do we can create an enum so let's go to pojo's package and here create an enum so click on new java class give the name as like gender and select the enum and we know that enum will hold the constant values so here you need to be little careful in which if the gender is accepting only male female and others in lower cases then i will suggest you to create the constant in the lower case only if it is accepting any upper case or mixed case you can create it as it is so suppose my gender is accepting only the lower cases so what i'm going to do i'm going to create the enums with the lower case like male then female and then others why because whenever you're creating an enum so we are supposed to put the constant there 
and as a nomenclature or the best practice they say that we should put the constant names in upper cases only so but here since i need to pass the gender value in lower cases so i am passing male female and others in the lower cases but you can follow whatever is suitable for your api payload after creating the enum what you need to do go to your pojo class and instead of putting the data type of gender as a string put the data type as gender okay which is coming from your enum right gender enum so here what you can do you can remove it suppose i am not passing any random value here so here if you see the airline test dot java so here if you pass anything here like string it will give the error because it is not accepting any string now it is accepting type gender so for that you can simply use the gender and you can pass anything like gender dot male gender dot female and if you run this program you should see that it is taking them gender is male so i am just restricting user to pass any random value any random value means any unacceptable values you need to pass only the valid values here so you can see that code is passed and it is taking the mail suppose if i am not passing then obviously i need to have some custom default values so for that what you can do you can simply come to the pojo class and again you can use the stream concept of java you can see how much stream is useful if you are if you are not aware of stream please go and learn more about that because it is really helpful so we need to use arrays dot stream and uh, we can get all the values from enum we can use gender dot values so it will give you all the values from that enum then you can use the find any and you can use the get whatever i just showed you earlier okay so you by this line of code you can get any random value from the enum gender so let me run this program and let me show you the output so the test case is passed and if you see here it is taking some random gender value so what is the advantage of this pattern you can restrict the user to pass only valid values and also you can select any random value from the fixed set of values so that's all in this video if you really want me to explain any different concept or you are facing any issue so please comment on this videos i will surely make some small videos or detailed videos on those topic if you like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone